do? Do you guys think this is the way I'm doing the magic? No. Why don't you think this is the way I'm doing the magic? <laughs> David, why don't you think this is the way I'm doing the magic? I memorized them all. Okay. 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 You think I have a shortcut? Why don't you think I did this way? You think this is too long a way? Yes. Okay. I can backtrack this, can't I? Yes. And you can do it. Okay. But it's kind of slow, isn't it? So maybe there's a shortcut. Now, Daniel, you think you got a shortcut? What? What? Okay. Well, what's your way? If you start at one, you get twelve, and then you add two. You got a number. Let's take a number he set. Okay. You said if I start with what, Daniel? One. I start with one. You get twelve. At the end. Yeah. Okay. And then you add two, you get 14. So I add two and you get 14. Yeah. And that, you get 14, you start with two. And oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. So if I start with one, I get... Twelve. So I start with two, two, two I get... Fourteen. Fourteen. Is that right? Yeah. If you start with three, you get the of four. If I start with three, you, three, you get... Sixteen. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, so what if ha so then if you start with four, you get eighteen. If you start with twelve, what do you get? You get thirty-four. Well, how'd you get thirty-four? I mean, did you go through all of these? Got them all on the list now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It works, huh? Good. I'll tell you one. You guys ready? We'll see how mad how good his magic is. I got 130 for my last number. What did I start with? <laughs> okay. So I will give you a hint. Every magic trick has a shortcut, right? But a good magician never tells the trick, right? So I'm not telling you the trick. You guys are going to have to figure it out. You can do it this way, but you guys are looking for what? A shortcut, a pattern that makes it easy. So, let's try another problem. Anybody got some ideas about what I might be doing if I can't backtrack, it's too slow, and this one I can't even do it? Jorge. Take one divided by two. What? Okay, so where'd you get that idea, Jorge? Okay, everybody listen to him. See if this magic works. Where'd he get it? Okay, so you're saying when I started with three, I ended with seven. seven. Let's put some of these up here. Okay, so who had another ending number? Koki. Nineteen. You ended with you ended with nineteen, so you started with nine. Okay, Sally. What? You ended with 25, so she started with 12. Now, everybody stop here and look up here. And Jorge, say what you saw again and while you saw it. You take away one and divide by two. So you said, if I take away one here and chop it in half, I get that. Do you have any idea how you came up with that? Okay, so can we take Jorge's, what his instructions? What's his instructions? Take whatever this number is. What's this number? Okay, the end number. We'll call it the end. And what do you do with the end? Subtract 1 and divide by 2, and you get the star, right? So how would you write that down in algebra? How do you write the end number? We write. Is he all right? Okay. So what, Corey say to do? How are you going to take away one? Right. And then what, Corey say to do? Take that whole thing and divide by two, and what do you get? Does that make sense? Okay, now let's go the other way. 
How do you get from the start to the end? See, Hori says, how do I get from the end to the end to the start? How, what do I do this, the start number to get to the end? David, what do you do? Okay, so do you see how that's different? He says, instead of dividing by 2, I do what? So I take what? The start number. Wait, wait. Multiply by 2, and then I. And that gives me what? Now, is this. Does it matter which order I do this? Because some of you said, take the start number, add 1, and then double it. Would that give me the same answer? So I really need to make sure I multiply first and then add. Now, in a magic trick, there's the secret. What? Isn't it? No. Oh, one of these is the secret, whichever one you like. They're the same thing. Okay. How do I figure out that secret before I do the trick? No. My students are now hooked. They want to find the secret to the trick before they do it. They clearly understand the meaning that they need to translate each of the instructions to an expression and simplify it. Then they can use the simplified expressions and backtrack from the ending number to the starting solution. ESP, Extraordinary Solution Predictions, along with Tracking Treasure 2, both provide excellent opportunities to study inverse operations and have students practice with backtracking as an idea. If the abstract ideas of solving equations are too difficult for your students, work with the activity Manipulating Extraordinary Solution predi Predictions. It uses manipulatives to help students solve the problem. And these manipulatives then can be used to help them understand the more abstract solution methods. The ESP series of activities all focus on the big idea of using inverse operations to solve equations. But the series also provides an excellent opportunity to see how students move from a conceptual understanding to an abstract understanding. You all saw how motivating and exciting the kids were to get started on ESP and solve the magic. This provides an opportunity to really study and look at the problem. And the first way they looked at it was numerically, trying to backtrack through the numbers to find the solution, as they do in backtracking extraordinary solution predictions. If you had a chance to look at manipulating extraordinary solution predictions, you'd see they started to use a manipulative, cups and counters, to solve the equations and then made graphic representations of these solutions. These multiple representations allow students to understand why they're solving equations. And then they can quickly move to the more abstract solution procedures they used in ESP, Extraordinary Solution Predictions. I hope that by watching these videos, you've realized you can teach more, better, and faster if you first provide multiple representations divide conceptual understanding and then students can quickly move to the more abstract procedures of solving equations they need for success.